as a result of doing some of these interviews, other people have contacted us saying that they've seen the same, same thing. Yes. Most interesting, Leanne, is um, a woman in uh, Tennessee who has witnessed this uh, for a year and one month in all seasons. She said, including below zero. So um, she she's the one that you, the video that you shot saw. You know, it was really good. It was that was a pretty good capture of what it looks like. So we, where we are, you know, yesterday we had a disappointment, not a surprise, but a disappointment, where the congressman sent an email um, of the contact that he had from the EPA, saying that the EPA saw the CBS report and felt that they could dismiss it. That you know oh, that, it, that was a good conclusion. Can you imagine? <sighs> the EPA is, you know, our they are supposed to be. Protecting. Our protection, right? And the scientists, they should not rely on a, you know, a, a marginalized mainstream media report. Yeah, absolutely. That doesn't even have a scientist con seeing if no. her theory is correct by yeah. <laughs> getting cattle, fight, uh, cattle bandages to see if it's the same material that she's dealing with. And you can Google geoengineering today. There's all sorts of articles today. Uh, you can see they're preparing people uh, for geoengineering. They're saying it's going to be the only thing that's going to help the environment. It's the only thing that's going to help us with global warming and that they need to start allowing these uh, programs to take place as if they aren't already. Um, so right. we see it's, it's, they know that there's, you know, just too many people that are aware of what is happening and are asking questions and aren't going to just believe that random spider webs fall out of planes. And that's totally normal. That's correct. Yes. They're conditioning the public mm -hmm. to start to become familiar with the term geoengineering or weather modification or solar radiation management. Um, what they're, you know, like you said, they're, they're not admitting that they've been using these programs since the 40s. They really amped up in the 90s, and the last three years have been horrendous. Um, and uh, they, you know, geoengineering has been causal to a lot of our climate problems, uh, you know, the droughts and the floods and so forth. Um, and But they're trying to sell this as a fix. Exactly. And that's what, exactly what the BBC reported in November or even just yesterday. There's just all these reports. I've got them uh, pulled up, but that's what they're saying. This could be harmful to millions of people. We have no idea what they are putting in the sky or how it's going to affect our natural climate, uh, messing with the weather, or making clouds brighter or whatever they're doing. Uh, but the bottom line is we're quite aware that something is happening and we deserve to know the truth. We deserve to not be treated like children who are told that our eyes are deceiving us and that, you know, spider webs are now flying planes and <laughs> making these huge webs across the sky. Tell, tell me the name again of uh, the Facebook uh, group, and we're going to go ahead and, and ask our viewers to, uh, to participate and send in their evidence. Thank you. Thank you. It's called geoengineering hyphen fallout evidence. Awesome. Well, ladies, thank you so much for, for being active in this and for calling all those 99 people. And that's what it takes. That is what it's going to take is for all of us to take some action and demand some answers. Thanks right. again. Not finished yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep working on it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's it for the show tonight. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know you can watch us at prisonplanet.tv. Just become a subscriber and your username and password can be shared with up to 20 people at the same time. You're going to get instant access to all of our content. 18 years worth of content is there. And of course, you'll help support this operation. And Anything that you buy at the InfoWars store will also help us to run the InfoWars news media. We are running some huge specials right now. Uh, if you've wanted to try any of our InfoWars Life products, now is the time to do it. These make excellent stocking stuffers. And like I said, you help all of us to continue bringing us all of the news that you need to fight the info war. Thank you for tuning into the show tonight, and we'll see you here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health.
but no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.